Hey guys, it's Ileana. So today I'm going to try and talk to you about my first professional ear piercing in a tattoo shop. So it was um, just not what I would expect really because I had no idea what would go on. Um, my first piercing, I don't know if you can see because it's kind of in there, but I got a gate piercing and I know some people call it a dog piercing. I just heard that recently. I've never heard that before. Um, majority of people I know call it a gate piercing, but, um, that's the one that I got. So my intentions were that I was going to get this piercing for a possible migraine relief. And I know a lot of people have gone back and forth over if that's true and if it works. I went ahead and got it um, with the possibility that it could work. My idea is that if it works, that's super fantastic. And if it doesn't, well then I got a cool piercing. So it's not totally bad. I'm not against piercings. So um, if it does work, it would be really fantastic because I only paid $40 total for this. So that is the price. I only paid $40 total for it while um, I could possibly be paying hundreds of dollars for medication in the future, which I would really like to avoid. Um, I have very slight migraine problems. I just know from the history in my family that as we get older, it grows. So I would like to avoid that. I don't know if this really does work. If it does, that would be fantastic. So, <laughs> so I guess my experience with going into the tattoo shop, I was a lot more nervous than I thought I would be. I don't know why, but I really was. And, um, yeah, I was just, I was just so, so nervous and kind of like not feeling anything, honestly. Um, I did make sure to eat breakfast that morning. I actually got the chance to eat breakfast that morning and I even had a coffee right before. Um, we actually had to go to the tattoo place and they said that they were going to set up. So we went ahead and left and then came back and they were ready. Um, I actually have a sensitivity to metals. So that actually added on to the price. Um, I don't remember what the price was before that. All I know is that I evened it out to 40 because I went ahead and tipped my piercer. I, I think uh, with the allergy added on to the, the um, special, the special um, metal that they have to use for the jewelry, um, I think it came out to like 36.50 and then I added on more and evened it out to 40. Um, excuse me if that's not a good tip. Sorry. <laughs> I just evened it out to 40. Honestly, I was so freaking nervous. Oh my gosh, I'm not even kidding. Um, so, the experience with getting the piercing is that, um, we went over and of course I had to lie down on to lie down on their kind of like cushioned table setup thing that they have for you. And then I had to lie down on my side and I got a pierce on this side, so I had to lie down on my side. And um I can't see anything because it's pretty far in there. And my fiance was with me, so he was watching it. And he actually said that I was sh shaking a bit and I was making a really bad face. And I couldn't feel anything so I was just like oh my gosh are you serious and he was like yeah um so I, I think I just had too much adrenaline going on because I couldn't feel anything the piercer didn't say anything about me um getting in the way of her doing her job so that's always good so the way that it felt though is that to me it felt like a lot of squeezing. I know a lot of people talk about what is the pain that you have for it. I wouldn't describe it as a pain, but more of it being annoying. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't even put it on a scale for pain. I mean, maybe, maybe a one. I don't know. I, I'm not sensitive when it comes to pain. It didn't even feel like a pinching. Like I felt like the very 
first split second of the poke from the sharpness of the needle but that thing is so sharp it goes right through um so it went through and i felt the very split first second of the initial poke <laughs> and then after that it just felt like she was squeezing my ear like that that's just what it felt like it felt like she was squeezing my ear really tightly and it's it was just really annoying and it's one of those things where you kind of want to hit it out of your face like stop but you can't do it so i was like really like you know holding on like just <laughs> and um yeah apparently i was shaking and making a really bad face during it um i have no idea i'm pretty sure it was really awkward but um that's what it felt like to me i know it's going to be different for everybody but um that's what it felt like for me it didn't even hurt and it just takes not even a minute maybe a minute maybe a minute or two for them to finish everything um, I really wish my fiance had recorded it so that I could see, like, just for me to see, and then I could have showed you guys, but, like, um, he said that they get, like, a curved needle, really long curved needle, they poke it through, then they get, like, this other tube, I know I'm describing this really terribly because I didn't see anything, but they get this other tube, slide it onto the needle, they pull it through with the needle, and then they put the piercing in it, <laughs> and they put the jewelry in it, and then slide that through, and then had to do that so all of that pulling and tugging that's probably what i felt when it came to the squeezing that's probably what i felt her doing oh my gosh i i just i i it was annoying guys i don't know how else to explain it just that it was annoying but um um yeah just sharing my first time a professional piercing I do have my Loge pierced, but they were done years ago with a gun, which everyone says never to do, but of course I got them years ago when I was little, done with a gun. I also had my cartilage pierced with a gun. Don't do it. That didn't last very long at all. Um, I wonder if maybe it didn't last that long because it was done with a gun. Um, this was not a good experience. Don't do that. Um, I would like to one day get my lobes re-pierced with a needle uh, to go to a tattoo shop and have them redo my lobes because I feel like I have a lot of problems with them, even though I don't wear, I don't wear jewelry. I really tried to stop. So I'd like to get those. So they said that the aftercare that I have to do for it was three times a day I need to wash it with a soap-like dial. Um, I went ahead and re-looked that up and I found something that suggested better that not to wash with soap-like dial, that instead I just need to find a soap that has the least amount of ingredients and least amount of fragrance and so that's what I did and I get a Q-tip and I kind of like lather it up and just, you know, try and try and wash in there because it's, you can't really see anything, but try and wash in there. And then I get the other end of the Q-tip, just get it with water and then kind of try and rinse it out best I can. I did try and rinse out my ear more in the shower one day, but I just got water stuck in my ear. So I don't recommend doing that, <laughs> but, um, that's the cleaning process that I do, so I'm really hoping that it's enough to um, heal my ear. They said that it should be okay to change my jewelry out after six weeks. So it's been a little less than only one week. Um, it's Thursday that I'm recording this, and I got it done just on Sunday. So they said in about six weeks it should be good to change the jewelry out. I don't know if I actually will, because I actually like the bar just as it is. It's I think it's a really cute piercing. I, I actually really like it, but um, I really hope that it lasts because of my allergy sensitivity. I hope that um, nothing upsets it, like if I knock it or anything, which is another nice benefit of this piercing is that it's inside your ear. Um, nothing hurts. Like even, like I know I'm just tapping it, but it, it really doesn't bother me at all, and I don't sleep on it. Um, that would probably wouldn't be a good thing to do. I don't sleep on it, but it's not uncomfortable for me at all, and it's kind of out of the way. It's something that you can't accidentally whack. The only problem that I have right now is sometimes my ear itches. Sometimes I hit it, and I'm just like, oh my god. But um, that's the only little problem that I'm having so far with this piercing is that, yeah, sometimes it does get, get in the way of me. Like, I'm just, it makes me realize how much I hit my ear. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, um, so far I really like this piercing and, um, 
yeah, I guess that was just my experience, my very first time going into a tattoo place, a tattoo shop to get a professional piercing. I'm really glad that I got it done. I really hope it all works out um, just with me keeping it. Um, and I don't know, maybe if I get used to a tattoo shop, I can go in again and get more work done in the future. Um, I like piercings. I'd like to go get more. I'd like to get them done correctly. Um, yeah, so... So yeah, that was my experience. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye.